back to another Halloween video, and today we're going to review Arkham Knight from the Batman Arkham Knight video game. Now, this is another uh, cool figure we got from the Arkham Knight lineup. Uh, this is pretty good. Same with the box. It looks pretty good. It's very, very similar to the the uh, the Batman one we already discussed. And, of course, on the background, like I mentioned, then you do see the Batmobile there. But on the last one, it has blue, but this time... It's purple. Cool. We got the Arkham Knight, Knight logo there. All right. Well, his name. Name. The figure line here looks pretty good. Isn't that nice? Cool. In the box packaging. The bottom here, you get the Batman symbol right there. His. Well, the box is supposed to be represent of the uh, the outfit that Batman wears throughout the entire game. Name. We got that nice, cool image in there. That's pretty good. Good. Says the last one was blue, but this time it's purple. Cool. It's that Batman and shows the Arkham Knight. In the back, here you get collect all four figures. You get you get uh, Batman there, which I reviewed before. Or and of course I'm gonna the Arkham Knight, and, uh, and of course I'll be reviewing Scarecrow and Harley Quinn. Quinn and yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's turn back to the box. Now let's go with the figure, shall we, everyone? All right. So here we get the figure out of the box. Take a look with the detail on the figure. It looks pretty good. Uh, how are if you previously owned one of these, because I know his visor, well, it's not really blue. It's basically full on black. Like, I'm not sure why that happened. They, they really sent out a figure. They're, well, very similar to this one. But very close. And take a look at his armor. I'm very, very impressed with this armor. It looks pretty good. Good. Supposedly, he's supposed to be the side villain. If you do play the, the game, we all know who is the identity of the Arkham Knight. He's not than Jason Todd. Well, you guys know the story. Right, so I have to be guys in. And look at the entire armor. He has some nice red details on it, represents of a uh, like a, a army me stuff. Like this time instead of uh green and black, it's the uh, red and black now. That's pretty, pretty cool. We got the Arcanite logo there. There and we got the another logo right there. You know, the visor on here looks pretty good. I really like the detail on it. Uh, but even though we don't have the color, the blue face and the blue eyes, nice, but he's still cool. Cool. Same with the gauntlet. The gauntlet looks pretty good. I love the details, as long with the, including the gloves. I love the gloves. That has nice detailed look to it. But the pants on here looks pretty good. Good, and his belt looks full of weapons and arsenal. And of course, he comes with flash grenades, things or smoke bombs. Or smoke grenades, if you guys want to call them. Um, we got his higher shin and guard right there on the boots. There looks pretty good. I love the detail on those boots there. Very love. love it. It's very futuristic. Like so. Overall, the detail of the figure looks pretty good. Good. That's why articulation the head can well kind of, kind of turn around. Well, a little more force than you might end up breaking the head. And the head kind of move up and down just a little bit. There's movement on the arms, but of course the arms don't go all the way because of the uh, the shield he's wearing. There's a little bent at the elbow. There's movement on the elbow as well. Where's articulation? And there's kind of a little uh, swoop there on the. This, there's kind of a little swoop over there. That's pretty good. There's, there's a little leg articulation there, but of course uh, it kind of moves a little bit. And there's some movement on the, the thigh there. There. There's a little knee joint there, pretty good, good, and there's movement on the toe, which is pretty good. Good, love the detail, and uh, this is all you can get from the split. So overall, I love the detail on the figure and the joystick on here. All right, now I'm gonna show you the accessory. As for accessory, he comes to the sick, awesome, some sniper rifle, which is it looks pretty good actually. I have to admit that it looks very, very futuristic. We got that nice detail look there. We got the the black there, there on the hand, the old shoulder thing. Then we got, of course, some nice detail there. It did trans, it does transform into like a regular pistol if you have the uh, the red hood figure. Here, that counts as the two pistols, and two pistols combined as this awesome sniper. But it looks pretty good. And I'm not sure you could tell on camera, but right there, that's actually. The uh, the Red Hood logo, which is obviously Jason Todd's signature, 
it, since he was actually Robin. But I love the scope there. It looks pretty good. Good. Love the detail on the barrel here. We got some nice vents right there. There and of course I very well impressed. And of course you actually can hold it. Yep, yeah, but be very very careful. Well, these figures intend to break, including their accessories. So I'm trying to be careful not to break this gun here. So this is all. So basically, he can hold it like this very well. Well, but however, I never seen the Arkham Knight actually use this thing. Only his red hood costume. And during the DLC game or, or the mall fight. Alright, so yeah. So overall, it's a pretty good gun. gun and a figure. Alright, now it's time for my fault. Alright, so why is it the figure? I say it's pretty good. Love the detail on the figure. Love the detail on here. I really love the design of it as well as the accessory. Very, oh, I overall, it's a pretty good, decent figure. Sure, they really, they re-released this, uh, this version by a different company, maybe a different company, but I think it's Hasbro, I think. I think maybe it's the same company, yeah. So yeah, they later released this figure again. Again, it's probably in, uh, stores or in, even, uh, online stores. So yeah, that's it for this video. Any questions, leave a comment down below, leave a like this video, and subscribe. I'm the Prime Guy. I'll see you guys in the next Halloween video.